Hey guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is right now, because, uh, okay, let me get this out of the way first. So, for those of you watching this right now, you're obviously watching this on one channel, but it'll also be on another one. This is the first vlog that I've had in, like, forever for Cheesy Film Fest. And since I've been doing majority of my vlogs on my main channel, I'm going to post it there too. So, yeah, there will be one version up of the same video on each channel, I believe. But I wanted to give you guys some updates on things, especially updates to Cheesy Film Fest and DJ Gaming Smash. So, I'll try and knock everything that I want to talk about out of the way as much as I can for as quickly as I can right now. So, obviously, or hopefully it's obviously by now, I've probably switched this video to the channel trailer on both channels because I really want you guys to know about this video because it has some very important new things that I'd like to tell you guys about. So, for those of you who don't already know, I already have like five channels up, so, and all of them have a fair amount of views on them, especially my main channel, DJ Gaming Smash, my collab channels, Cheesy Film Fest, and my other collab channel, the uh, Backseat Gaming channel. And uh, I just want to let you know that I'm making certain updates to each one. And one of them, which you might have noticed from this video, is I've kind of upped the video quality so that instead of watching videos on 240p, you might have now started noticing that I've switched it to 480p, which I did specifically at first for my new film, which I'll get around to later, since that's the big thing that I want to talk about later. And that's the main topic of this video. But... I'll get the tiny things out of the way first. So, first of all, there's, like I said, new upper video quality, so hopefully the videos should look better, and literally all of my videos from here on out should be 480p. So that's pretty much one step away from HD, so I think you guys would be happy about that. Secondly, I got new headphones, once again, to up quality, only this time for sound all, uh, sound audio because you know new headphones have new microphone and it works much better and it doesn't sound nearly as bad because it isn't broken so that's another thing to look forward to and i'm sorry that i hadn't been posting as much as i'd like to on my channels but that's going to change really soon with new let's plays new movies and continuations of everything that you guys love there's a lot in store for the near future, so I just want you guys to hang on and, you know, enjoy. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah. I think that gets most of the tiny things out of the way. But, yeah. So, now I'll go on to the main event, which is, as you guys know, on Cheesy Film Fest, I'm working on multiple movies with multiple different people like for example the 90 film which is getting a continuation in fact even though Ben the director of Link 1 Smash doesn't want you guys to see anything from part 4 I'll give you a small glimpse right now <laughs> I got you guys, didn't I? Yeah, he he would kill me if I showed you more than that. In fact, he'll be mad that I showed you anything for part four, but yeah. So obviously we're going to be continuing that, and then we're also going to be continuing my new movie, which the first mo I try and make all of my movies kind of intellectual and have, like, a great story structure. So that even though, like, everything else probably sucks about the movie, at least you can enjoy the at least somewhat creative story. Because, you know, I wanted to have, like, my number one big thing was that I wanted to 
do some creative stories since I knew that that would be the one thing that I could probably do my best on and have it turn out oh, at least okay. So I my first movie where I did that was The Tony Chronicles, which was a sequel to Night of the Alien. And that had like brilliant use of foreshadowing. Why is there Okay, there's a ram tag here, whatever. That I just know of that okay. I got distracted and sidetracked. Okay, so anyways, what I was saying earlier was Yeah, so the movie was had like great use of foreshadowing and Multiple other things which I want to make the story, if anything, great in that movie. And I think I did a great job balancing out story and action for that movie to keep it an entertaining two and a half hours. Which is much longer than when Link, Will, and Smash did the original film, Night of the Alien. And yeah, you do kind of need context in order to watch the second movie and fully understand what's going on as it takes place immediately after that one. And if you don't want to have to watch two movies, and you just want to start immediately with an actually good start, there's 90s, which I talked about earlier. So anyways, now finally back to what I was talking about, which is, after that I made an April Fool's Day joke film, and then I actually, while I was making the Tony Chronicles, I made that. And then now... I just started working on a new film, which part one will be releasing very soon. I'm guessing people are really confused from the trailers I've been dropping, but don't worry, it'll make sense and it'll be good. It'll be like one of my best projects, and I think you guys will really enjoy it, which is the movie Choose. I know, not the best title ever. But I'm sticking with it because it's genuinely, I think, one of the most varied choice-based experiences you'll have. And it's free, so if you like choice-based stuff, might as well give it a go if you want to. Because, you know, it's free. You don't even need a YouTube account to watch it or anything like that with other free movies on YouTube. You can just watch it and then make the choices as you go. And it's the entire thing. So, pretty much, here are the rules for when you're watching the movie, which it's kind of interesting, because most movies, you don't really need a rule set. But it can get kind of confusing, so I'll explain it. So, first of all, I'll give you guys the basic story for the movie. So, pretty much, the movie is about three different main characters. There's the guy who's supposed to be kind of like the hero, which, the main hero, which is my character. And, but the problem is, the things that he's supposed to do in the future are terrifying and very anti-hero-esque. And he's supposed to do a lot of bad things to bad people in order to give justice. And he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to be a hero. He just wants to live a normal life. But the news has kind of already spread about what he's supposed to do in the future, but he's he feels he's even unable to do it. So, he's kind of a drug act. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, his character arc is definitely unique, as the main character isn't really the main character. Once again, one of three. And then there's actually the villain of the story, question mark. And this guy is a serial killer who kind of has, like, a bunch of different people that he needs to kill. And one of those people is the before-mentioned character whose name is Max. And the killer doesn't r really have a name. Like, not that anyone would find out about because he's not supposed to have a name. No one knows what to call him. They just call him the serial killer. And then that brings us to our third main character, who is the best friend of the first character, Max, and I think his name was like Will Goodman or something like that. And pretty much all three of these characters get wrapped in a tale of I where pretty much after you learn about all of the characters, crap goes down. So there, the first part of the movie is just setting the stage, like letting you get to know all of the characters, giving you a taste of the story, a taste of the action, because yeah, there will be action, 
and then the cliffhanger will leave you with your first choice in the movie. Sorry that takes so long before you get there, but the interesting part is what makes this unique, this choice-based experience, is that it's not just one story like every other experience ever, where it's just the, it's, pre it's not like the same thing, no matter what you do, it's not like, oh, no matter how you end this, these characters still live slash die. It's not like the story where it's like, you know, because if you play a choice-based game, for example, like, let's just say, uh, Until Dawn. Well, the ending of that game is the same, no matter what, in the sense that you have a final battle in a cabin before it blows up. And the difference between that and what my movie does is it literally changes directions every time you make a decision in every single way it can. So let's say there's three options. Okay, that splits off into three different stories. So like one could be my character tracking down and figuring out what the serial killer's plans are. The serial killer trying to figure out what to do next after he's already killed everyone or something like that, or the other character, the best friend, trying to learn how to become a hero, or something like that. Just for examples, I don't know if those will be official storylines, but those are just examples. So it'll be like that, and then those stories split off on their own into even different stories or different life or death situations, which will just alter the plot, like, a lot whenever you'd make a choice and you can and I highly recommend going back so that you can see that I I wasn't lying to you when I said that because it changes so much and I highly encourage you guys to go back because it's so cool how much it'll split off but yeah so pretty much the rules are no matter what you choose I'd always recommend going back because even though the facts and everything, which this is interesting, the facts will stay the same about all of the characters throughout every timeline that you go through. So for example, if you find out something about someone's character from the past, that fact happens in every timeline. But if there's something that happens in the future that wouldn't have happened unless if you made a different choice, then you could avoid that fact from happening. So, for example, pretty much like, we figure out that, hey, the bad guy is actually a good guy all along. Well then, okay, he was a good guy all along, nothing can change that. But, if you did sign to provoke him to become a good guy, then that could change and he could still be a villain. It's kind of like that, just for examples. And I think that you guys will really enjoy the movie because it's, it's so good. It's so good so far. And we're kind of in the stage of reshoots right now and we're going to get some of the action sequences. But yeah, it'll, it'll be a blast and I think you guys will really enjoy it because I'm really proud about how it's turning out. And I'm manipulating it so that way the actors only know about what their situation is and not about the other characters. That way the reactions can be kind of, you know, convincing. Because they only know what their characters know. They don't know what's happening with anyone else. And I'm trying to be very secretive with that. So yeah. And then, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy that movie. And, yeah, I think I pretty much touched base on everything that I want to talk about. So, if part one is not out while you're watching this, then enjoy some other videos that'll pop up on the screen right now. And if part one isn't available, then it won't pop up. But if it is, it will. So, my guess is that you're going to see, like, Knife the Alien or something on the middle of the screen right now and maybe some other videos to kind of hop you onto if you want to see something else instead. Oh wait, no, that'll happen, let's say, right now. Okay, so, yeah, those videos will pop up and everything, and you can click on them if you want to watch them. So I hope you guys watch that movie and really enjoy it, because I honestly adore it, and I thank you guys so much all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Thanks for watching. Bye.